Hi everybody, welcome back to the Johnny Papalai YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a fantastic, straightforward, easy recipe out of leftover potatoes. Just start by mashing them in a large bowl with a fork. They should be nice and soft. And you don't need to use boiled potatoes like I am here. You can also use baked potatoes if you have those. Just scoop them out of the skin and give, give them a mash until they're nice and smooth. Once you've mashed out all of the lumps, add about a cup of flour to potatoes and give that a good mix until the flour is evenly dispersed and there's no lumps. I'm using probably slightly less than one to one here, slightly less flour than potatoes, but you don't have to be exact. Also at this point, beat a whole egg and then mix that in there as well. This will just help bind everything together and, and make your potatoes nice and rich. Once you've mixed the flour and eggs into your potatoes, take a sprig of rosemary and a few sprigs of thyme, pick all the leaves off because you don't want the stems in there, and then chop them nice and fine and add those to the mixture as well. It's always better to use fresh herbs if you can, but if dried's all you've got, then that's fine. Just use slightly more than I'm using here. I'm using about one teaspoon of each. Add the herbs into the bowl with the rest of the mixture and give it one final real good mix. Really beat it here because you want to make sure that everything's evenly distributed and there's no big chunks of potatoes or herbs in there. So really do give it a good beat. And next it's time for the messy bit. So flour a surface and tip the potato mixture out onto the flour. It's going to be sticky, but don't worry about that. You may need to reflour the surface a couple of times, but do be careful not to add too much because you don't want to dry the mixture out and just knead, knead the mixture for a couple of minutes. Now you're not trying to make bread here. You're not trying to develop gluten, so you don't need to do it for too long. All you're really doing is making sure everything's nice and smooth and combined. Okay, so once your dough is nice and smooth, divide it into manageable sized pieces and reflour your surface. Flour the dough in your hands as well because it's still going to be pretty sticky. And then roll each piece out into a thick sausage, about an inch thick. Something like this. Don't worry if it's not too even, but try and get it as neat as you can. Once you've rolled it out, take your knife and cut, cut the sausages into small pieces like this. Again, don't worry if they're not all the same size, but try and get them reasonably easy if you can. Repeat the process until you've used all the potato and then spread them out on the side like this and shape each little parcel by gently pressing your finger into the middle like this. Again, you don't need to worry about getting them all exact, but if you can get them all a similar size and shape, then they will cook in the same amount of time, which will help you later on. Now, when you're ready to start cooking, gently place the potato into a pan of salted boiling water and cook them for about two to three minutes. You'll know when they're done because they'll start to rise to the surface. They should sink when you put them in there and then when they rise to the surface, that's when they're done. And you could eat the potato like it is now. You can drain it off, add a bit of tomato sauce, and you've pretty much made a gnocchi, but we can do better than that. So instead of draining it, heat some olive oil in a large pan and transfer the potatoes straight out of the water into the hot oil. Now remember to be careful whilst you're doing this because the knock is wet and you put it into hot oil and as you put water into oil, it will spit a bit. So just take care. The potatoes are quite delicate, so just give the pan a little shake to make sure they don't stick. Don't go in there with a big wooden spoon because you may start to mash them up a bit and we don't want that. After a few minutes, they should have gone a lovely golden brown underneath, so carefully turn them over and cook the other side. This will give them that lovely crunchy outside and soft fluffy middle, which is exactly what we're going for. Okay, we're almost there now, but bear with me, this is gonna be worth it. When your potatoes browned on both sides, give them a really good grind of pepper and add a cup of frozen peas. Let these sit in the pan for a little bit until they begin to defrost and then throw in a few knobs of butter and let this melt in. You might need to give it a bit of a shake around to help things along. And 
And then after the peas are defrosted and the butter's melted, we're almost there and it's time to finish up this recipe. So grate in the zest of half a lemon and don't skip this stage because it really does make a difference. And then also give it a good sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. And there you have it, a great recipe for leftover boiled potatoes. And you can serve these with a little extra sprinkling of Parmesan or however you like. I'm Johnny Papalai, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please like or subscribe to the channel because it really helps. See you next time.